Okay, what about lactose intolerance? What does that mean? What is lactose intolerance? And what can we explain it? And how does it relate to the surgery? Okay, lactose intolerance. Lactose is a sugar that's in milk. It's made up of two other sugars. And you cannot digest it and absorb it without a specialized enzyme in the body. That specialized enzyme is called lactase to break up the lactose. And so you can call the problem of no lactase as lactase insufficiency, not enough lactase, or lactose intolerance. But either way, if the sugar goes into the gut from milk or ice cream or other dairy products, and you don't have the lactase, the sugar stays in the gut. So what? The sugar then goes down into the colon, and there the bacteria says, she doesn't want it, we'll eat it. So far, still okay. But when the gut bacteria metabolize the lactose, because they're anaerobic bacteria, the waste products are methane gas, the smelly gas, and you get bloating, cramps, pain, and diarrhea. <coughs> okay, That's lactose lactose intolerance or lactase insufficiency. Now, most of us as babies have it. As we get older, lots of ethnic groups don't have it, and so lots of us as adults are not crazy about dairy products and milk like we were as kids. But most of the lactase enzyme is in the upper small bowel, so that when we bypass it, many, many of our patients get lactase insufficiency or lactose intolerance. Not 100%. But there are a lot of people that get that. Now, there is a fix. You can buy the lactase enzyme in the grocery store. It's called lactate. Or you can buy dairy products that don't have lactose in it. That would be lactose-free milk. So the solutions for our patients are, one, less dairy products. Two, the lactase enzyme, the lactate you can take with dairy products if you feel like having an ice cream. And three, you can choose dairy products that don't have lactose in it. So good question. Yes, sir? You removed your 